Welcome to another episode of Cookie Vision. In this video, I'm going to be making a hat and tie. So I've got a hat shaped cookie here and I'm outlining the outside with a number two tip piping consistency tan color. And I'm just outlining around and I'm going to fill it in with a tan color in a flooding consistency, this time in a squeeze bottle. And of course, I'll use my scribe tool to get all the icing towards the edges and pop any air bubbles. Now I'm going to be doing a little bit of hand painting on this hat, so I want it to be fully dry before I do that. I always let my backgrounds dry overnight, um, but you can just let it dry uh, as long as it takes. And I've got a touch of chocolate brown food dye or food gel that I've mixed with a little bit of vodka. And I've got some on a fan brush here and I just wiped off the excess on a piece of paper towel. And I'm just lightly going over top one way and then lightly over top again the opposite way. So it makes it look a lot like fabric or canvas and it gives it a lot of texture. This is also a great technique if you were to do it on a blue cookie with a darker blue paint. Um, you can get a very nice denim effect as well. So I've got the same uh, tan piping consistency that I used to outline it in the first place. This time I've got it fitted with a number one tip and I've re-outlined the hat. I kind of gave it a little bit of a dip in the top uh, to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. And I've got a uh, food pen here. This is a Chef Master one. I'm using the fine end. And this is a black color and I just want to give it a quick little uh, kind of like a, a sketched looking uh, feather just to kind of give it a little extra detail. And I've also got a stiff consistency red royal icing here and this is fitted with one of the tips that um, it's like a slot but the one edge uh, actually has like a rigid edge on it. And this is a great texture for the band of the hat. So I'm using the textured side up and I'm just going right straight across um, to give it a nice band. You can use any color for this. It depends on what kind of cookies you're wanting to match. And you could just use your scribe tool to kind of get rid of any excess little uh, points or bits on the ends uh, just to kind of neaten it up. And you can see it here among some other cookies that I made. This is part of my Father's Day series. And I'm also going to be making a tie to go with it. So I've got a tie sugar cookie here. And I'm doing the outline with this nice blue. This is a royal blue mixed with a little bit of sky blue. And I used a piping consistency and a number two tip to outline the entire thing. And I'm just going to uh, fill in the knot at the top for now and using my scribe tool to get rid of any air bubbles and get that icing towards the edges. I let that crust over just a little bit and I'm doing the rest of the tie. So this is a flooding consistency of the same color in a squeeze bottle. And I've got my scribe tool here to get any air bubbles out and get that icing towards the edges again. And I'm going to let this dry again overnight uh, so it's nice and solid and dried. So I've got some Chef Master pens here. You can use any food pen. I really like these ones, but this is a blue and I'm using the uh, broad end and I'm going one way uh, diagonally across and I'm going to use a black one as well and I'm going to go the opposite direction and basically create like a diamond or cross hatch pattern. Now I'm also going to use some white gel dye that I've mixed with a touch of vodka and I've got a very fine liner brush here and right beside those blue lines I'm going to go across again and you can see as it goes across the black um, it kind of catches some of that black color because I did it immediately after I used the food pens and it actually gives this really cool kind of satin looking effect. And um, if you didn't want that effect and you just wanted a straight white line, all you'd have to do is make sure you wait until the food pen uh, is completely dried. And I've re-outlined the entire thing with uh, the same blue as I outlined it in the, with in the first place. And that was a piping consistency in number one tip. So thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like me on Facebook and on Instagram. Bye!